Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to land your very first client and not only that, but also how to receive a killer testimonial to land future clients moving forward. So guys, the first thing you need to do to solidify your first client is to make sure that you have found the right niche for you. As you can see, I'm referring to this article here that I actually wrote. It's over 2,000 words long. It's very extensive on this exact topic. It's important to have a solid niche foundation that you have done lots of research on because your niche is the foundation of the work that you'll be doing. And it's important that you like what you're doing. If you're in a niche where you're just bored out of your mind, you can always change niches, especially early on. It's much easier to adapt and change when you're just getting started. You don't really have much skin in the game when you're first starting out, so it's really important to find Find what you want out of a niche moving forward. Some tools that I highly recommend for you are Google, YouTube, and also medium.com to find out more research about different niches. It's really important to do lots of research before selecting a niche because you really want to make sure that you're going to like it. And it's also totally fine to kind of dip your toes into a niche and start actually doing some test work or some work for your friend or something like that, where you're actually experimenting with what it would be like to work in that niche long term. So after you've found your niche, this next step is really important. You need to actually create a Twitter account or an X account. It's both the same thing. I call it X and Twitter sometimes, whatever you want to call it. It's really important that you do this because X is a great way to not only build your personal brand, but to expand upon the niche that you're building. I landed my first ever two clients from X. And if it wasn't for X, I don't know where I'd be in terms of my ghostwriting business. So starting out on X, it's really important to engage a ton. If you don't engage with other people, you're going to have a really hard time growing. Engagement is really key. And if you're looking to take X seriously, I highly recommend getting the premium version of X for $16 per month. It just shows that you're invested into your craft and people will take note of that when they're talking to you. But yes, once you have X downloaded, it's really important that you optimize your profile. Profile optimization is huge. It really solidifies how well people are going to perceive you when they view your profile for the first time. Your profile is like a landing page. People go there and they're checking you out right away. The first thing they're gonna look at is your profile picture, your banner, and what your bio says. After that, they're gonna look at your pinned post, and then they're gonna scroll through your feed a little bit to see what else you're creating as well. Setting up a killer profile is very important because if you don't, it can really send the wrong message to potential clients, and that's obviously what you don't want. Moving on to step number four of the process, you need to create your offer. Now that you've created the Twitter account and optimized your profile, it's time to figure out what exactly you are going to sell to your future clients. So a great tool that I recommend for putting together an offer is Notion, but obviously you don't need a special tool to create an offer. You just need to type up on a Word document, a Google document, just any platform that you can write words down onto and save it somewhere. During this drafting process, you need to figure out what you're selling, who you're selling to, and how much you are selling for. It's important to have this offer crafted up before you start reaching out to people, because obviously you want to make sure you have knowledge about what you're doing before you actually talk to potential clients. This brings us to step number five of the process. Make sure to have a payment system set up. It's very important to have this because if you don't have this and you get on a client call and you have a one-on-one -on -one meeting and you actually land the client, it's important to get their money as soon as possible and to close the deal. Every minute that passes where they're not giving you money through a payment system, the less likely you are to actually land the sale. Don't let time pass. It's important to just get the payment done. So please take this as a precautionary measure to have this set up before you enter any client calls with anyone. So to do this, I would recommend using Stripe. It's a great payment system. The payments are safe and secure, and it'll really benefit you to have this set up through there. Next up, you need to create a place for testimonials. For example, you need to have a place for testimonials because once you finish the work for that first client, and when you do a really good job, and they are at their most happy point with your services, it's important that you're ready to send them the link for the testimonial page so they can instantly leave you a video testimonial. That's what you want to go for. Video testimonials are a hundred times better than written testimonials. So to do this, I recommend using testimonial.to. It'll give you all the resources you need to get a few video testimonials, and then you get like up to 10 text testimonials as well. But basically, you just want to have something set up to store testimonials so you can easily send people the link when they're ready to give you a testimonial. All right, guys, you have all the potential tools now to start reaching out to people in the Twitter or X DMs, and cold outreach is going to 
be something that you can take advantage of. Now, I can't emphasize this enough. You need to make sure that you're being smart with who you contact in the DMs, and you also have to make sure that you're doing it the right way. Sending DMs is a really fine line because you are basically entering somebody's personal space where they're going to be reading your message and they don't even know you. And it's important that you don't come across as like you're trying to sell them something off the bat. From personal experience, when I receive direct messages, I find it very annoying when people start to sell me something before I've even had a chance to say hello. One thing to note is that you should be trying to make friends in the DMs. You should not be trying to sell to people right away. You need to actually build authentic and genuine connections with people. Trust takes a while to build and it can be lost like pretty much instantly. So you need to make sure that you walk that fine line very carefully and also be sure to choose carefully who you're DMing. It can't just be some random person. That person needs to be somewhat in your niche and have a need for your services. So you kind of have to really connect those dots and be very selective with who you are actually contacting. Moving on to step number eight of this process here, you need to give away free value to the people that you're contacting. And here's why you wanna do this, because obviously giving away free value is not going to make you money but it's going to help build trust. It's gonna help build the relationship between you and the potential client. And this tactic really goes a long way. If you are genuine with your time and you're genuine with your efforts and you are really putting in the work to help out a person, they're gonna notice that the small details really go a long way. One way to do this is by giving away free consultation calls. You can also give free advice to them about their profile or about some of their content that they're posting on Twitter. Whatever value you want to give away, you want to make sure that it's relevant to the person that you're talking to. If it's not relevant, they're really not going to pay much attention to your message. So, so you kind of have to use some common sense here. From personal experience, be as genuine as you possibly can. Like I said, your end goal on Twitter is to probably make money. But in order to make money, you need to be genuine with the relationships you're forming, especially starting out. You don't have any credibility, really. So you need to make sure that you're really caring about the people that you talk to. And it's fun to really care and build connections as well. So make sure you're doing those things. It'll really help you out. All right, moving on to step number nine. This is where you're actually going to land your first client. So if you implement the steps from seven and eight, if you're cold outreaching, but you're doing it in a way that is building genuine relationships and you're providing free value. If you do this consistently and persistently, you're going to land that first client. It could be a few weeks. It could be a few months. It could be many months. Either way, you're going to land that first client. You have to believe in yourself. And if you don't, how are you ever going to get there? Consistency is the backbone behind almost every success story. If you're not consistent, how do you expect to become successful in your niche? I will never forget the time I landed my first client. I was so ecstatic. It was such a great feeling, and I really look forward to you experiencing that too. That brings us to step number 10, though. After you do land that first client, you need to over-deliver, guys. It's really important that you over deliver on your work. If you don't over deliver, what is going to happen is you're going to have so much trouble finding the second client because you did not get a great testimonial from your first client. I landed my second ever client, which created 10 times more monetary value for me than the first client. And a big part of that was the video testimonial. It is a huge game changer. You need to make sure that you're over delivering on what you're offering. If you don't over deliver, it's not going to benefit you in any way, especially starting out. You need testimonials. So you got to over deliver and you can do this by communicating clearly, being excited to work with the client, showing genuine interest in their work and what they're doing, and also getting the work done quickly while not sacrificing any quality. It's important that when you land that first client, you should probably just like forfeit your day and really crank out the work for the client. That's what I did. It took me five or six hours to crank out my first client work and it was a $50 gig. And it was important to me to crank out that work as soon as possible because the client was so impressed when I got it to him so quickly and the work was so good and that made him so excited to leave a testimonial for me and yeah guys after you over deliver on your work that is the time to capitalize on a testimonial from the client if you over deliver the client's going to be happy they're going to be excited that you're done with the work and that you did a great job because you over delivered and that is the perfect time to say hey I'm really looking to build testimonials for my business. Can you possibly leave me a video testimonial? I would really appreciate it. If you did a good job, more than likely they're gonna be totally happy with giving you a video testimonial. And if they're not, that's okay too. Then ask for a written testimonial. If they don't give you that either, then just say, hey, thank you for the opportunity to work. 
And yeah, at the end of the day, you didn't get the testimonial, but that's okay. You still got your first client. But like I said, if you over deliver, more than likely, you're going to get a solid testimonial from them. And keep in mind, since you already set up that testimonial page, you already have that set up. You don't have to worry about it. You just send them over the link and they can fill it out. They can do what they need to do to record the video and stuff like that. And you're all set. And this brings us to step number 12 of the process to keep up the momentum that you have been building. Guys, you cannot get comfortable with landing that first client because you're going to have to work hard to land the second client and the next client and the next client. Now, things will get easier as you continue to progress and stuff like that, but you can't get comfortable. If you get comfortable, you're going to stop producing the high quality content you need to over deliver. And if you're not over delivering, you're not going to receive those solid testimonials. And if you don't get those, you're going to have an even harder time landing future clients. So just a recap here of all 12 things in order. We have find your niche, create your offer, create a place for testimonials, set up a payment system, create an X account, optimize that profile, do some cold outreach. Don't forget to give free value with consistently outreaching and giving that free value. You're going to land that first client. Make sure to over deliver on that first client then ask for that testimonial and keep up the momentum with being consistent. There is so much value in being consistent with your craft. If you're not consistent, it's going to be so much harder. And guys, overall, those are the 12 steps that I have put together for you to land your first client and receive that first video testimonial. Like I said, if you wanna check out this article, the link for it will be in the description. It's over 2000 words. It has a full breakdown. I used this article to put together this video. So be sure to check out this article. It has so much good value. I wrote this article as well, so it's my own content. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you in future videos. Take care and peace.